What is going on, everybody? Checking out the Black Dahlia Murder. Pretty good band name. Pretty good band name. That's pretty strong. I will return, which then makes it creepy. Cause did they never? Didn't they not catch him? The Black Dahlia guy, like the killer. I don't. I didn't. I didn't do like my research on it, but I'm pretty sure like the Black Dahlia is like known. To, the guy never got caught. I could be wrong. Not sure. I didn't watch the movie. <laughs> I should have. Hit like, subscribe. This comes from Steven. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. I will return. That's a good song name for a band called The Black Dahlia Murder. That was nice. Yo, that was a wicked little drum roll there. Ah! I'm liking what this what this drummer's dropping. I'm picking up what he's putting down. Just. He's had like four or five already nasty little drum rolls. And we're only 40 seconds in. And they've all been different. I think it should be safe to say right now, even though it's only a minute and 20 seconds in, that there will be no clean vocals in this one. Unless they have another singer like somewhere else, because I don't, I don't foresee this same guy doing this range, That because not many do that high-pitched, uh, what was it, Cannibal Corpse kind of sound? The, the, the old-school death metal voice? And then also doing clean vocals. That's rare. That's pretty rare. Yo, that was awesome. Like, you could, so far, to me, you could remove the vocals from this entire song. This, the instrumental here, is so fucking good that I don't need vocals for this. I mean, cool, it's always better to have vocals for the most part, but it's that good, especially the drummer. He is a monster on this song. Oh. 
That was a very good, that was a fire uh, solo. The whole way through, he cooked. But so did the drummer. No one wanted to tell the drummer it's the other guy's fucking moment. Or well, the drummer just couldn't help himself. Because he, low-key, in the back, was kind of doing his own solo. Together. They cooked. Just fucking hibachi Damn. Heresy, some say it's blasphemy. Assuring I'll be in hell when God is through with me. Good lot. That's good writing. That's a good. Uh, you hear the Phoenix rise, the Phoenix raise, rose, the Phoenix, all that. You heard people say the Phoenix lines and songs tons and tons of times in many different ways. I've never heard it said like that, where the Phoenix arose unbruised. Mint fucking condition. Another solo. Fading out. Oh, the drummer, he's not done. Yeah, I could listen to that easily. Even without the vocals. The vocals were good, but even without them. That instrumental was fire. That was absolute flames all the way through. And the drummer just could not help himself. Even there, it was fading out. And he's still just drum rolling away. That was awesome. He's the MVP of this song. The guitars did damn good. You know, everyone everyone did their thing. And some, some actually really good lines. Well-written song. But the drummer stole the fucking show. He took the flag. And he fucking ran with it. Probably not a white flag, but still. He took the flag and fucking ran with it. He's the winner of this song. He's definitely the MVP. And for a band called the Black Dahlia Murder... The vocals sounded about what you should expect. It's gonna be death metal. It's gonna be. If it, if they were just called the Black Dahlia, still a good band name, but that can vary. That can they're not gonna sound like a like Nickelback, but they or Trapped, but they could sound like a you know a heavier rock band if they sound like um, a Mudvayne or something, and their name is the Black Dahlia. Wouldn't be shocked one bit. But if you're called the Black Dahlia Murder, like the actual murder of the Black Dahlia, like, you're going to be a death metal band. You just will be. <laughs> you have to be. You have no other fucking choice. Or you wouldn't have thought of adding the murder part. It was in your, it was in your psyche already. 
But yeah, that song was awesome. Again, mainly shout out to the instrumental. Vocals were okay. They were your your casual standard black metal vocals. But the instrument was fire. It was. Especially the drummer. The moment it started, to the moment it was fading to black, he, he did not stop. Especially the, the drum rolls. He had, he had so many variations. That's what made it good. Because doing a drum roll repeatedly, still pretty good, to be honest. But it goes to a whole better level when you mix up variations of drum rolls. Mini drum rolls, long drum rolls, double pedals kicking in during the course, going crazy. Fantastic. Gotta love music, man. You gotta love drummers. I don't know how the fuck they do it, to be honest. He's like, when you're a kid and you look at the instruments that when you see like guys playing, when you're a kid, you think being a singer, obviously the easiest, because you, if you can sing, you can just sing. But after that, you think the drum set is the easiest thing you could play. I could do that, just... Keep a beat and hit the things. Fuck no. Probably the hardest, and I don't think it's close. Unless you unless you're in a slow pop style band. We sound like old school Beatles. Fine. Ringo, pick up your sticks. You could probably do his job. But if you're in a like a rock, especially a heavier band. God forbid one that needs double pedals. Good luck. Especially one that's like one of those kits that's set up with symbols everywhere. Like layers of symbols. Oh, good fucking luck. Good luck. I don't know how some guys learn to do it and they're like, they're like 23 and they've mastered it. What else did you do with your, you've done, you did nothing in your spare time but play that drum, play the drum set. Shout out to you. And if you are still here, you are a real one.